Researchers at Vanderbilt University Medical Center have identified genetic factors that increase the risk for developing pneumonia. They identified nearly 9,000 cases of pneumonia in patients of European ancestry and 1,700 of African ancestry. Findings show that the strongest pneumonia association in patients of European ancestry was the gene that causes cystic fibrosis, while in patients of African ancestry, the strongest association was the mutation that causes sickle cell disease. Professor Armand Gerbys, an intensivist, clinical pharmacologist and ICU management and practice board member, cautions against changing the dosing schedule of COVID-19 vaccines. Some politicians and administrators are promoting alternative dosage schedules. They are focusing more on the first shot, but are not serious about the accuracy with which the second dose is given. So far, it is only speculation that delaying the second shot will not have a negative impact. Hence, it is important to follow the correct dose as recommended by scientists and not the one that is more politically correct. New findings show that COVID-19 patients suffering from in-hospital cardiac arrest had 100% in-hospital mortality regardless of baseline comorbidities, illness severity and location of the arrest. The majority of patients were African Americans and the cause of arrest in most cases was thought to be respiratory failure. These findings highlight the importance of instituting measures to ensure that goals of care discussions are incorporated into the COVID-19 care pathway. Research suggests that opioids should not be considered the pillar of treatment for acute pain in trauma patients during or after surgery. Trauma patients are a high risk for developing an opioid drug disorder. These patients often have injuries that affect several parts of the body and require multiple surgical procedures. However, instead of using excessive opioids, experts recommend the use of a multimodal pain regimen that is designed to reduce opioid exposure, control acute pain and enhance recovery after surgery. Findings from a new study show that COVID-19 is dangerous not only for the elderly, but for middle-aged patients as well. Nearly 40% of COVID-19 deaths in the US occurred among those aged 45 to 74 years, and 60% occurred among those over 75 years. Basic precautions such as masks, social distancing, and hand washing are critical to protecting yourself, family, friends, and community members. This was the 111 News from ICU Management and Practice. Visit our website for more stories, download our journals for in-depth information and subscribe to our highlights. <laughs>